Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Loud Guns, and today we're going to be taking a look at refineries um, and the different refining methods. I've noticed that there's a few more added for 313, uh, so I thought this was a good time to go and do a bit of a deep dive um, into which of these might be best to consider uh, for refining your uh, commodities. So before we crack into it, just thank you to everybody who has uh, liked, subscribed to the channel, watched the video. Um, it all really helps and uh, helps me know what sort of content you guys are looking for. Um, so if you do find it useful by the end and you think I've earned it, then uh, then a subscribe would be really appreciated. I also I get back to everybody I can in the comments. Um, so if you've got any questions or if there's anything you think I've missed, um, then please get in touch. Uh, I've had some great conversations with people in the uh, in the comments section. Finally. Uh, I do think Star Citizen is one of those games where, at the moment particularly, it's best enjoyed in a group. Um, so if you are sort of on the lookout for people to uh, to play with, to to talk through different methods, to you know, share pictures of your ships with, then uh, then please uh, take a look at our Discord. Uh, the link to that's in the uh, video description down below. Uh, so feel free to pop in and say hi. So without further ado, I guess we'd better go and get some materials to chuck in the refinery. So I realised in my last video on caves uh, that I might have come across as a little bit negative. Um, I do have some, some issues with gameplay in uh, 313 not being a great leap forward. Um, but one thing which they have done fantastic work on um, is some of the visuals and the visual update to the asteroid fields I think is just worth taking a quick look at while we're here um, because this really is sort of beautiful to look at and uh, as soon as you guys get into 313 I would highly recommend going and checking out some of the moons because the work they've done down there is uh, is also very impressive. So I'm going to try and grab some Laranite here, um, but I just think it's also worth taking a quick look at the mining UI. One of the things um, that I found particularly useful is in the sort of upper left side, you can see the distance to the rocks. So that's um, going to change from insufficient to sufficient to optimal. So it really takes some of the guesswork out of whether or not you're in range when it comes to your laser. Um, you'll also see down the left side uh, that you've got a... Uh, indicator as to your modules that you've got running um, and just in case anybody was worried that I'm picking up Laranite because I can't find Quantanium anymore have no fear uh, the good Quantanium rocks are still out there for you to grab um, I just wanted to grab Laranite today because uh, I avoid lots of time to uh, to consider the different refinery processes uh, I didn't want the Quantanium to go blowing up in my prospector uh, while I was uh, doing that so I've grabbed a full hold of Laranite, um, so 3,200. Um, and as you'll see, that's going to sell for 46,228 uh, Alpha UEC if I just sell the ore directly to the, uh, to the refinery. Um, I know that the sale prices at TDDs where you sell refined goods aren't quite double in a lot of cases because they've got an element of supply and demand um, so but just for the purposes of this uh, we're going to assume uh, based on those prices that it is double so we're getting 14.4 credits for raw units uh, and we're going to assume 28.8 for refined units so if we go to set up our work order we've now got all of these uh, additional methods uh, to consider. So we're just going to go through each one um, and consider uh, what we're going to get out for it. So the first place to start is the Cormac method um, and I just want to tick to refine all of my Laranite and to get a quote. So that's going to cost us 4,155 credits. Um, it's going to take 41 minutes and 19 seconds so it's pretty quick. Uh, but our yield is going to be 2,128. Next up, we have pyrometric chromalysis. Uh, so this is pretty high yielding. We get 3,040 out of our 3,200. Uh, it takes 5 hours and 30 minutes, uh, and it's quite costly. So at the top end of things at 12,465 credits.
uh, Gaskin process is going to yield 2,584. Uh, takes an hour and 22 minutes to refine the lot uh, and also costs 12,465 alpha UEC. XCR reaction uh, yields 2,128. Uh, only takes 21 minutes, so it's the fastest refining process uh, and also costs 12,465 credits. Ferron Exchange is another one of the new ones. Uh, that's yielding 3,040. Uh, takes 11 hours and one minute uh, and costs 4,155. Electrostarolysis. Apologies if I mispronounce any of these. Uh, will yield 2,584. Takes 2 hours and 45 minutes and costs 4,155 credits. Dynix Solventation uh, is my current favourite refining method. Uh, yields 3,040. It takes the longest out of uh, all of the methods. Uh, 1 day and 9 hours for a full load. Uh, but it costs only 2,077 alpha UEC. Thermonatic deposition, as well as being a bit of a tongue twister, yields 2,584, takes 8 hours and 15 minutes, uh, and costs 2,077 AUEC. And finally, Kazen winnowing uh, yields 2,128, takes two hours and three minutes um, and costs you 2,077 AUEC. So that was uh, quite a lot of numbers all in one go. Uh, so I thought it was easiest to put this all into a table. Um, so you see there's sort of only really three points in terms of yield. Uh, so you either get 3,040, which is 95%, 2,584, 80.75%, um, or 2,128, 66.5%. Same, there's three price points. So cheapest, 2,077, middle ground, 4,155, and then the most expensive methods are 12,465. Now, I personally think that you should focus only on those which are going to give you the best yield. So these ones are pyrometric chromalysis, Ferron exchange and Dynix solventation. Uh, so the reason I'd focus on yield is mostly a profit calculation. So miners shouldn't really, to my mind, be worrying too much about time. Um, you're usually going to be stacking jobs up uh, so that you can make the most out of your one um, run to go and actually sell. Uh, so outside of really desperately needing some cash, at which point I'd probably just sell straight to the refinery. Um, I would probably be looking in terms of preserving my yield as much as I can. Uh, so one of the reasons I chose Laronite for this experiment was just also to make sure that there were no positives, negatives on the, uh, the refinery I was using. So this is all just about the method uh, in terms of the yields you're getting. So if we add in revenue and profit figures uh, to this, so revenue is what you're going to sell it for at the TDD. Like I said, the, the numbers aren't completely perfect. Um, but they're a guide, and then the profit is the uh, the revenue minus the cost of the process. So as you can see, the three methods which preserve your yield really preserve your profit. If we remember that we uh, could have sold this Laronite for forty six thousand two hundred twenty eight uh, straight to the uh, straight to the refinery as ore, uh, you can see that the the three high yield options um, really create us some additional um, money over that. Whereas if we look down at XCR reaction, which might be very tempting because it only takes 21 minutes, you know, in the case of Laronite, we're only actually making two grand extra versus if we just sold it. Now, if we're doing multiple runs and try to do the fastest possible um, uh, method, then, you know, we might as well skip the process of uh, of taking this stuff to a TDD, we could probably fit in an extra mining run, at which point we'd probably make more than that. And as the value of what you're mining uh, rises, then this becomes increasingly important. Uh, so I did some sort of napkin maths um, about 
Quantanium. Uh, so assuming a sale price of 80 uh, like we've been getting recently at the TDD. Um, and assuming that I've got a full 3200 um, Quantanium. That's a full prospector load. So if I do the same sums with uh, with Quantanium, if I use Dynix solvention, uh, solventation, then my profit on my Quantanium is just north of 240,000. Um, compared to XCR reaction down at the, the other end of things, which is 157.8K. So you're nearly losing 100,000 by, uh, by opting for that very fast refining method. Um, and some of the other ones which are slightly less costly, um, like Cormac method or Kazen winnowing, um, which are still quick, but sort of don't have the same uh, same price attached, but still deliver that very low yield. You know, you're still losing sort of uh, eighty-five to ninety thousand. So, uh, so I would stick to the three, which uh, which yield the highest. That said, the inclusion of Ferron Exchange is actually really good. Um, one thing I have sort of found is that sometimes I'm doing multiple runs through the week and it would help, for example, particularly if I'm running the mole um, and some of those refinery times can get very long if you've got, say, 80, 90 SCU of Quantanium more than one go. It is quite useful to have another middle point uh, between Dynix solventation and pyrometric chromalysis, um, which isn't going to take quite as long as the Dynix. So it would help me stack up, let's say, I do a refine I do a mining run on Monday and then I do another one on Wednesday or Thursday of the same week. Be quite useful to have the Ferron exchange to uh to make sure that all of that's going to be ready for the weekend, um, in the case of the mole. Uh when when I'm gonna run it to the TDD when I've got a bit more time to uh to plan my trip. So thanks very much for staying to the end. Um, if you did find this useful, then please feel free to let me know in the comments or uh, ask any questions you've got down there. Um, and if you like this sort of content, then please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll have some more sort of mining tips and tricks coming out alongside other gameplay stuff um, as and when we find it. So, uh, and if you do want to come and say, say hi, like I said before, the, uh, the link to our Discord's in the uh, video description down below. So thanks very much and I look forward to seeing you next time.